Hello everyone. If you're a business as sales agents or sales reps and you would like to track the revenue generated by each agent, then QuickBooks has a very good feature for that. QuickBooks has a sales by rep report that we can use to track those sales. The first thing that we're going to do is to add our sales agent's name to the vendor center. I will click vendors and then control N to add a new vendor. So the vendor name is Alden Richards. And I will just leave the other information blank. I will click OK. And the other one is Main Mendoza. And I will click OK. Right. Next is I will go to list and then customer and vendor profile list and then sales rep list. This is where we're going to identify our sales reps. To add a new one, just right click new. I will put in Alden. The initial is AR. QuickBooks will only accept up to five characters for the initials. The sales rep type is a vendor. I will click next. Next is main. Okay, so the initial is MM and she's a vendor. I will click OK. These are my sales reps. And I will go to the customer center. And let's start with this 2000 Vision customer. I will double click. And then we go to the additional info tab. And then we can assign a sales rep. Okay, I will click OK. Then let's add another one. Additional info and then sales rep. But this portion is optional because every time we create an invoice, we can always change or put in the sales rep name. I will click OK. Let's go back to the home page and I will click create invoices so we can record some sales. I will put in the customer name. Okay, so as you can see, it automatically gives you the initials of the sales rep. Let's put in the date and then let's leave the other information optional. So let's put in the sales. Okay, so the sales is 110,000. I will click save a new so we can record another one. The next customer is 258, the date today, and the sales rep is MM or Main Mendoza, quantity for 900 pesos each, so 180,000. I will click save a new. Let's put in another customer that we didn't set up a sales rep, this one. So as you can see, there is no automatic sales rep since we didn't set it up in the customer center, but we can put in the sales rep name. Okay, and then put in the sales. Save and new, and QuickBooks will ask you if this sales rep is always the sales rep for this customer. You can click no or yes, it depends. So for now, I will click yes. Let's put in another customer name. Okay, so the sales rep is Main Mendoza. Let's put in the sales. Okay, and I will click save and close and disregard this keep number. We will make Main Mendoza as the sales rep for this customer. I will click yes. All right, and then let's go to the sales by rep report. We go to reports, sales, and then sales by rep summary. Let's change the date to this month. This is the sales generated by Alden, the sales generated by Main, and these are the sales that we created, but we didn't put in any sales rep name. So if you would like to audit this, all you have to do is just double click and then click the transaction so you can put in the sales rep name. Save and close. Yes. And then yes again. All right, there. Now let's go to the sales by rep detailed report here. Change the date to this month. All right. So this is the detailed report. And you can see all the invoices per line for each sales rep. 
For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you!